Hi, my name is Brittany McGowan, and today we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to do a math lesson on a smart board since these are in schools mostly nowadays. So the first thing we're going to do is in my class at Orchard Elementary, we've been uh, me and the teacher have been showing the students how to count by twos, as in when you cut an orange in half, you now have two halves of an orange. Um, when you cut it, you cut a uh, half of an apple. Again, you end up with two more pieces, which now gives you four pieces of an apple. And then we have frog. So every time we're adding by two. So we had half of an orange, which gave us two, four pieces of an apple, so we added two more. And then moving on to the frogs, we added two more, so now we have six frogs. Showing the children that every time we show a different picture, we're increasing by some number. And that number just so happens to be two. And the reason we do this is showing them something simple like this, which leads into a more complicated subject, such as multiplying as they move older into higher grades. So counting by twos is the same as multiplying by two every time. So we take the one orange, cut it in half, and we have two. So it's one times two. So we move this answer. We, get, we move these so the students won't know the answer. They get to participate, and now 1 times 2 equals 2 from the lesson we learned before of counting by twos. Moving on, we also get the 2 times 2. So the two halves of an apple cut in half now gives us 4 pieces. So 2 times 2 equals 4. Moving on, we have 6 frogs. Moving on, multiplying by 2, so it would be 3 times 2 is 6. So we use in schools now, we use the small ideas to build on to make bigger ideas more comprehensible for them to understand. So we go from counting by twos in second or third grade to multiplying and doing hard division and hard multiplication problems and stuff that have many more numbers than this. And using the smart board, we can go on and have this set up for the student, and it's a better way for them to interact by being able to move the move the baskets and stuff around to show the answers and so they can't see the answers immediately. This allows people to move faster in class and the smart board has been really easy to use. And Thank you.